Hello, welcome to Burning Questions, June 28. A big show planned. We've got three very special guests lined up to preview the big meeting from Melton on Saturday night. We'll start with the woman that made us hold on for about three or four hours, Eva Justice. Look, I, oh. I'm not too worried uh, myself. It allowed me to go and pick the kids up, and I rang Kara Manning, and I think she was pretty happy that things got delayed. I think it was a busy morning there in Great Western. But Eva, thanks for joining us. No worries. Thanks for waiting for me, guys. Um, I feel like I'm becoming a bit of a regular these days. So, yeah, thanks. Well, if we've waited this long, you better deliver some gold for us uh, during the show. Karen Manning, uh, it's not your debut on Burning Questions, but certainly your very first show with me. I think Jay Bond was the last um, person to get you on. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to be here. Good stuff. Um, and Sam Barker is sporting a very fresh jacket there. Sam, any shout outs you'd like to give to those that helped you? You know, I'm sure you're not that big a punter where you actually have earned a Betfair jacket yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the cat or boys. But um, yeah, no, nah, probably got to thank you two for pushing them to get me a jacket. But yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> Good stuff. Good to be on. Um, let's get stuck right into it. I'll just bring these fields up here on my screen. The very uh, first sponsor is Pride's Easy Feed. They stand as a proud supporter of the harness racing industry with their set recipes and quality ingredients to give the trainer confidence in what they're feeding. So make the switch to Pride's and start getting the result you've been chasing. Who leads the opener on Saturday night and who will emerge as winner of the fight. Uh, Kez, I might start with you here. You're not driving in this race, so you can have a bit of a guess and uh, and see what you reckon. Um, you know these horses you know, fairly well. They're our top-end horses. Who do you think leads the race? And then ultimately, who do you think wins it? Yeah, look, it's uh, a pretty fast front line. Um, I looked uh, a few of Fiamma's races. I didn't realise she was as fast out as she was. She's going to look like a midget between Jillyby Jack Sparrow and Captain Hammerhead. I know that. She's going to uh, work the out to see her, I don't reckon. Um, but they'll know she's there at the start. She's got pretty good speed. I'm, I reckon she might have the wood on Jack Sparrow. He just takes a little bit to wind up. I watched a few of his and he, he's quick, but uh, she's extra quick, I think. So um, he'd have to be on his game to hold her out. So uh, I'm going to think that she might lead and... Um, I don't know whether she held the front or not. She's pretty tough. Her record's pretty good. So um, I looked. I thought it was a bit of a step up for her a little bit, but I looked back through her form and she's raced some pretty nice horses and older horses. So um, she's, um, yeah, I'll, whether she leads or wins, I don't know. But if she doesn't cop any pressure mid-race, she's she's a good chance of that. But there is some nice horses in there. Yeah. Uh, Eva, you're not driving in this race either. Um what are your thoughts? I was probably agreeing with Cares. I thought sort of Jillyby Jack Sparrow would, you know, do enough to get to the pegs and then uh, Mark Pitt and Fiamma would kind of work across and they'd be sort of leader leaders back. Um, am I off the boil or, or do you agree with that? Um, I kind of agree with everything. I think many things could happen, but I sort of think Jillyby Jack Sparrow does have enough speed to, if he wanted to, to hold out Fiamma, whether they want to do too much work to do so but being over the 17 20 and that's his go sort of leading over that short and he can run quite a quick time and I but I thought either way Fiamma is going to get a really good run because I don't think um Crime Rider and Heavenly Charm are overly quick out so there's also the potential it could get on its back um but if Jack Sparrow was to hand up to Fiamma I think he she would be really hard to beat because I think majority of her wins except for maybe one they've all been in front so yeah I think she'll I think Jack Sparrow will lead but either way Fiamma's going to get a really good run because even if she doesn't lead she could be leaders back or 1-1 behind Captain Hammerhead so I think she's probably the main chance in this race. Do you think the winner could potentially come outside of Jillaby Jack Sparrow or Fiamma? I probably don't but I reckon our next guest might have something to say about it but do you think they're the most likely two winners Jack Sparrow and Fiamma? Yeah, and I thought Captain Hammerhead, he'd probably want to improve a little bit off his last run. Um, but if he was up to his best, I'd say those three are definitely, I can't, couldn't really see a winner out of those three, even though there are other horses off the back row still going really well, like Dola Geary's racing really well. But I just think those three will get the best runs in the race. Yeah. Sam, Ultimate Vinny, uh, your stable star, Barrier 7, he, he drops back in class to a, a grade that he's won in before. Um 
what are you planning to do with him? I assume you would press forward to some degree. Yeah, well, there's probably no point going back. Um, been over the short. Um, he's been run home in very quick sectionals. Just can't get into it. So back in the grade, but he's won a few races in before, so we're going to push forward with him. Um, Captain Hammerhead will probably be in the breeze, I would say, but probably not going to. If he doesn't really want to hand up, we're just going to keep pushing until we get there because um, I don't think there's much point going back. So there could be a bit of speed on, so we might pull a horse like Curly James into the race. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's much point going back, only if we can slot in somewhere. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't be scared to see that side, um, see that side of these horses and see where we line up against them because we've got um, a few races we've got planned what we've got to jump in the car and travel a bit of time for. So we kind of want to be going as good as we can. I well, know we're going good before we jump in the car and travel to him. Yeah. Um, is he good enough to sit in the chair and win? If not win, certainly run really well and even run a place, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I definitely think he's a huge place chance. I think they've opened him up on the tab market a bit over, to be honest with you, at $51. I think he is now. I think he's definitely not them price. Um, he's raced um, free for all grade probably the last – well, he's probably the last four starts now um, and ran some good races in him. I know he's on the pegs last start. I was probably a little bit disappointed in him. But going back, looking at it, when we use him out of the gate, we probably use, lose that high speed at the finish of the race. So he kind of just turns into a one-pace force. So if we can get outside him, it's going to be ideal because we can kind of quicken at our own tempo and kind of wind him up from the six or 700, you know what I'm saying, and turn it into a real staying contest. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Good stuff. And where are you looking? Uh, you hinted at uh, looking at races outside of Victoria. Where are we looking? Back to Tassie, um, Queensland, perhaps? Or are we looking at maybe uh, Sydney instead of where the rest of um, it seems where everyone's going to Queensland? Maybe you'll head to Sydney. Yeah, no, I'm going to head up. I might head up to Sydney in a couple of weeks. Um, just reckon that mile track up there would love him. Just keep run a quick mile up there in front because um, he's got that gate speed. So we just keep working forward until we bully our way to the front. Just keep on running. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good race. $10,000 first four, jackpot two. Uh, we've got uh, a feline friend there, Kez. Who we got there? Uh, Tom. He's, he's joining in. <laughs> so, uh, probably 50, 50 horses at your property, one cat. What other animals have you got? Uh, two cats. Um, yeah, that's about it. A lot of miniature ponies. <laughs> well, my daughter's getting to the age where she's starting to get interested in that, Kez. So maybe Sam can provide a paddock for me. You could do me a some mates rates on a on a pony yeah okay i'll pencil you in good stuff <laughs> uh, <laughs> and ever you can teach me how to drive or teach me how to train whatever um good, good stuff luck. let's move i saw that <laughs> video of you last week so no <laughs> oh you saw that You've got no potential <laughs> well hang on a minute Kez, can you sort me out with a pair of uh, steel cap boots as well while we're at it good, good idea <laughs> the um dunlop volleys that are uh Feeling the uh, feeling the impacts of loving a Chevy's um, hoof there. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, yeah, it's not for me. I'll stick to talking about them and, and asking you guys about them. Let's move on. Um, combining the power of results and horse sectionals with Sulky App, you now have access to gate speed, swooper, ability and behaviour ratings. Never miss a trainer, driver or gear change again. Sulky App is a form guide revolution. Mafasa is off to chase the Queensland sun. But first, can you get this assignment done? We're talking about Mufasa Metro Race 2 on Saturday night. The Wagon Apollo Trotters Free For All will hold you to last ever. Um, might go to you here, Kez. Um, a bit like the first race, you know, these are our better trotters, um, you know, top-end horses. Really good race. Um, and the return of Mufasa Metro adds another bit of intrigue to it. Who did you think would be winning the second race on the card? Yeah, it is. It's a it's a nice little field of horses. Just I think my fastest probably got um, a class edge over most of these. Um, Elder Baron Zeus obviously is um, probably as good, but he's just his two runs back haven't been quite as good yet. Uh, he might just need a few more runs. And um, there's a lot of them going well, but I don't think they could beat Mufasa. Um He's just a class above. That's a pretty good push. Um... Yeah, he's a he's actually opened up backable price. I, I thought he might have been shorter, to be honest. I, I agree with you. He's going to be hard to beat. Um, Sam, yeah, Calvin, your father has uh, mercenary in this race. Um, 
Really nice horse, going well. I thought his last start was super. He draws barrier four here. I guess the big question for your stable is, are you going to press the button and, and go forward? You've shown that he's got good gate speed in the past. He went back last time out, but this looks a race he could potentially lead. What do you think? Yeah, I reckon we can um, come across a sleepy and hold it out. I think it's probably going to be out of us two. Obviously, the one and was Avengers got to probably hand up in if we don't get across. But I think we're going to keep push. We're going to have to push earlier to get to the pegs. Um, I'd be keen enough to hold the front. I think he's only ever led twice in his life, and he's won and run second. And when he won first up, when he just started, when he just started going good, he won pretty easily by a, a good distance. And um, yeah, so and last start, I think he's back to his best. He kind of went off the boil a little bit after his last country cup uh, up in Mildura. Just after that, he's kind of didn't. He was just running nice thirds and fourths and sort of thing. But last start, he showed us he was back to his um, best when dashing home, really good sectionals. So um, yeah, I think if we find the front, I, I wouldn't be scared to even hold it in front, knowing we can run in, run good sectionals in front. This sounds like a, a night where the Barkers are just going to pour the pressure on up front across the board. I reckon sounds good to me. What, if Mercer was able to win, what would the what sort of strut would Calvin Barker have? He'd be have the chest out, the big uh, dark coat on. He'd be absolutely up and about at forty to one. I reckon. Yeah, well, let's be honest. I don't reckon he'll be there for the first two. I think he'll just start popping his chest out later on the night. <laughs> we'll get to that one later. Uh, good stuff. Good insight there. Ever over to you. Um, I guess you like the sound of this. Uh, a bit of speed on. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? First up for Mufasa Metro. Yeah, that would, that would be really nice for him. Um, it's actually a pretty good draw for him first up because I know uh, um, we've been saying his first up runs have been under par. But if you look at all his first up runs, they've actually been really hard. He's either been in the death and they've run along or he's actually had to do a bit of work, which we know isn't, even at his best, isn't really his go. And he's probably been a bit of a, the underdog in all his races. Like he comes second to just believe that many times. It's ridiculous. Um, and there's no just believe in this race, but in saying that he is vulnerable first up. Um, but I would, I ex sort of expect him to win, but if he doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised either. And the main thing is sort of just to get him around safely and, and hopefully he benefits on the run. Cause as we all know, he's got a big campaign coming up going to Queensland. So the main aim for, for this weekend is just to get him around safely and hit the line well and hopefully benefit for it for the weeks after. There is a fair bit of confidence in the camp that, you know, he's good enough to win this. I mean, when you look at second to just believe, the, the form lines don't get any better. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, definitely. We're definitely confident he can can win it. It's just if the race runs to plan, if there is a bit of speed on, that'll suit. And also the best horses in it, um, other than him, Aldebaran Zeus and one overall, their last, one of Rose last was I didn't really think was his best and Alda Baron Zeus hasn't been running up to his best but if they do perform at their best it will be hard for him but it looks like it's a race where you know hopefully he gets the, his chance to uh, win first up. Have you driven him much before? I've driven him three times I've had three thirds on him. <laughs> okay well you got Hatch back home last week was that the first time you won on him so um, maybe it's a nice little segue into Mufasa Metro. No, that would be nice. And then there was Dad was saying, you know, if you went on him, you might be able to twist my arm and fly up to Queensland. So I'll be doing my best, that's for sure. I, I did read that. Um, and that is in print at the trots.com.au. So we can't go back on it ever. <laughs> no, no. Good stuff. Good luck. Going to be a great race. Race 2, 5.33 p.m. Uh, logical staffing solutions provide labour hire and recruitment services to the transport, warehousing automotive and manufacturing industries, the logical solution for your staffing needs. Kez has a great chance in the Sprint Champs clash, so will her charge have too much dash? Uh, we're talking about race five here, first leg of the quaddy just after 7 p.m. Surfing makes sense. It's drawn barrier four. We'll come into three if the emergency doesn't get a run. Um, Eva, you're driving the Belle so we'll go to you, Sam. Um, you're not involved in this one, but do you, are you with Kez or are you against her? Yeah, no, I'm with Kez. I reckon she probably, if she finds the pegs early, I'd nearly say race is nearly all over, nearly. Um, I know 
there's a few handy ones in it, but it's win at um, Swan Hill last start was pretty impressive, I thought. So I th- nearly find, I reckon if it finds the pegs early, it's um, they're going to know she's in front. And, um, yeah, I reckon it's going to be very hard to beat from out there. Yeah, thirty thousand dollar race. Uh, be a nice one to win, Kez. We'll go to uh, Ever first. Um, La Belle Bajou, Ever. Uh, this horse has just been going great guns. Just sort of keeps running into one better. Um, has been having sort of not tough runs, but not a lot of favours in her races. Um, looked well beaten last start, but closed off really good. I think it was a Ballarat behind Joe Lita. It might have been last Friday night, but um, you're a winning chance. But you'd need things to pan out. Do you think? Yeah, that's right. She's um just doesn't have that point to point speed that um a lot of those mares have. So like that's why Joel Leader got away from her on the turn, but then up the straight she really knuckled down. So, you know, she needs a lot of luck, but I'd nearly say she's one of the best horses in the race. Um but like if Kez's mare gets to the front, it's gonna be nearly impossible to run down. I thought with the time she's been running at Charlton and Swan Hill, I think she went fifty six and fifty five. So if she's in front and maintains a genuine tempo, it's gonna be hard for anyone to really else get into the race. But I definitely think if things go our way, she's not out of it. Um we just need a bit of luck. Yep. Uh Kez, are you confident of getting in the front here? I don't, I've gone back a little bit, but your girl doesn't have what blistering gate speed. No, no, she um she's come off the gate okay. Her first two, she got a little bit squeezed up at Charlton, and um having fallen over on her at the start before, um I was a little bit uh, cautious on her, but she was really good. Uh, I chased her out a little bit at Swan Hill, but uh, the others just had a bit more speed, so I just ended up dropping in and working forward. So, uh, yeah, I think um the three would nearly get across um early and, and it handed up at Swan Hill. So I'll um hoping for that to happen again. She certainly I think she can get off the gate a little bit quicker if I ask her, but um yeah, she's she's learning all the time. She's she's becoming more of a racehorse now. It's taken her a little while. She's got a few quirks about her, but she's certainly got a big motor and um she yeah jogged in at Swan Hill. She did that really easy. She knocked off at the top of the straight um and then and managed to sort of click her up and she got going in at the end. But if something comes at her, she certainly finds. Yeah. Um, was it, Sorry, was that the horse that fell at Melton that night? Yeah, yeah, my broken wrist horse. That's her. That's right. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> I, I should be talking about you. Sorry, not the horse. Um, but how did, how did the horse pull up after that? Did, did You know, I assume that that type of episode could knock a horse around, you know, confidence-wise. She, she's obviously, you know, she's come back in, in really good form. Yeah, she um she had a bad injury to her knee. Um, luckily, it didn't go right down to the bone. It, it went close, but um, that took quite a bit of healing. She's in a box for maybe three months, um, and her shoulder had a bad rash, uh, burn on it. So she's healed up really well. She's she's actually come back um, a much better horse, um, matured horse. She's she's very dumb, so I don't think she would probably even remember falling over. But um, yeah, she's she's. Yeah, she's got to quirks. She's she's learning all the time, and this time in, she's been um, you know, a much more professional horse. Yeah, um, good group of owners. Ken Salmon's in there, I see. Um, Tad Big Bets. I don't know if you looked at those cares, but they send them through every week. Um, I think she was a dollar twenty or a dollar ten at um, Swan Hill. There was four bets. I think two people had nine thousand on her, and someone had five thousand, and someone had four thousand. That wouldn't be Ken Salmon, would it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's someone very brave out there. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> yeah, well, me either. But um, it was if you're going to have a big bet, that's how you want them to win. That's for sure. Um, good stuff. Good luck in that race. Going to be a great one. That's first leg of the quaddy. Four minutes past seven. Thirty thousand dollar race. Um, fourth and final question. Race six. Her winning sequence sits at two. So will the Barkers be selling celebrating with another brew? Um, that was, I thought that was one of my better questions, that one. Um, we're talking about race six, the Outer Barren Park Mayor's Trotters final. Um, Ever, you're not involved in this one, so you can go first here. Sam or oh, Calvin Barker has Sequence, who's won her last two. Karen Manning has Valerie Lane, um, been a very consistent horse. Um, what do you think? Sequence wins this, or would you look somewhere else? 
Yeah, I'm sort of leaning. I think Sequence will be winning this, and the way Sam's been talking, it doesn't look like they'll be taking no for an answer all night. So I think he'll he'll be finding the front. She'll be finding the front. Sorry, and um, she'll be hard to beat. And her run last start in the heat was really good. She did a lot of work and finished off strong with more in the tank. So can't really see her getting beat but they are trotters so anything could happen and Karen's should get a nice run on the fence you'd think maybe three four fence but I just think that sequence will be able to lead and and on its own terms even if it does cop a bit of pressure it sort of proves that it can can do that and still finish off so yeah I can't really see it getting beat did you ever drive against Sam in a race ever no I didn't <laughs> Well, good luck for you. Because with these tactics, he's probably the right sort of guy to be driving these horses. Kez, you would have driven against Sam a bit over the journey. He, he tends to, you know, he doesn't muck around when he wants the front. No, you know he's there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but he bangs into your wheels all the time, doesn't he? Uh, let's, uh, we'll go to you, Kez. Um, I think your horse was fifth last time out, chased home sequence. Um, any chance you can turn the tables? Uh, no, I highly doubt it. She's... Um... She's been in an okay form for for a little while, Valerie, but yeah, a bit below par. That her run in the heat was actually probably her best run for a little while. But um, yeah, she's certainly drawn the right spot to get a nice soft trip, and yeah, she might be able to sneak a, a fifth hopefully or something like that. But um, she's a little bit um, a little bit yeah, out of out of form too much, I think. But sequence, I think, yeah, her, her, the run was very good. Um, Valerie last two have been great. I. I'm just going to tip against her. I'm going to tip Rapid Return. Just it, It's a nice source on the way up. I know it's a little bit of a step up in class, but it got home very good at Ballarat off a, um, a soft trip, obviously, but got held up for a little while. So I uh, might be able to, you know, you know I'll, I'm going to tip that one, but sequence will be very hard to beat. Okay, good stuff. Sam, what's the thoughts here? Um, sequence been really good. I, I know Calvin's been pretty open in saying, well, potentially this is the best horse he's trained before. Um, what are the plans? Press forward? Is that, is that just the way all, all night? Um, well, he also <laughs> said I was a better driver of the two brothers, so I don't know if he's, he's, com he's right on them comments, but anyway. We'll well, um, he, yeah. What's he got to beat? How many drop wins did Mitch drive? Yeah, I think he's only got 10, but... Yeah. Probably, are, you know, I'm, you know, I might even have Mitch covered as well. But uh, anyway, that's a nice little yeah, accolade. Feather in your cap. Leading horses, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah. sequence. So, so I, I reckon she does find the front. Obviously, bigger wires got to um, hand up to us because probably got more gate speed than this. Um, so it did at Ballarat. So it should again. I would say, um, yeah, it's not. I don't think it's as easy as just find the front and win. There's a few handy horses in this race. I know she won at Ballarat. I was copping a fair bit of pressure, but um, like I said, she's still only probably learning her gate speed, so I'm still not very confident on really chasing her out of the gate. Um, it's probably the only last two times she's ever showed gate speed in her life. Um, before that, we've probably never pushed her. I think if you go back three starts at, at um, Melton, she got about triple crossed. So um, I'm still not really too keen on really pushing her out of the gate early, but she's definitely, definitely showing enough gate speed to be probably first there. Do any of the ones on the inside, I don't think anything can cross us from out wide. So we'll definitely be first there and we're definitely pushing the button to obviously find the front. Um, it's just a matter of um, if we can hold them off late. Can she, is she potentially a better horse than Sequence? Uh, than Mercenary, sorry? Well, you can't really say that. Mercenary's got the riding on the board. Um, potentially down the track. Yeah, there's obviously a chance. Um, she's only little, but she's got a big heart. She, will she make that board in the back corner? Or is she already on there? She might already be on there. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, she is on there. Yeah. yeah, she made it on there after. Can we have a look at that? Can we just have a – can we pan the camera there or not? That, no one will know this. There's a board there. It's a bookies board with the Barker family's best horses. Um, Ultimate Vinny's – see that spot second – he's going on, isn't he? He's in the – his um, label's in the makings, isn't it? Yeah, I just got to get someone to, with a bit more – a bit more um, – need a handwriting the meter right up there. 
You wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to spell it, would you? No, definitely not. Also, also, yeah. Uh, good stuff. Good insights. Good luck. You got a, a great hand. Uh, the bark is on Saturday night. Sharps Bakery best bets time. Kez, I ask everyone about this, and I think I know the answer to this one. Sharps Bakery sponsor our best bets uh, in probably the last two three months. Um, have you tried the world famous vanilla slices? And if so, could you give us um, a score out of ten, please? Me? Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> if you try, you've tried the vanilla slices, haven't you? I think you take a, an esky with you to birdship. I'm, I'm awake now. Um, Sorry. Oh, Ken, Ken Salmon gets them for me. So um, it is, they are very good. Um, yeah, no doubting they're probably the best I've had. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, best bets. Have you, I think I told you to provide one for us. And if I haven't, I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, what's your best I on Saturday that. night? Um, gosh, I'm going to say serving makes sense. Put the pressure on myself. But the way she's going, I'm, yeah, pretty confident she can hopefully get the job done. Good stuff. Yeah, I think it's very hard to beat. $2.50, according to Craig Rails, about the right price. So that's not bad. Uh, Eva, your best bet on Saturday night, please. Yep, I'm not putting any pressure on myself because every time I do, it doesn't work out. So um, my best bet, I was just going to do race one, number four, Fiamma, because I thought uh, any way the race pans out, she'll be getting a good trip. So just based on that, she's coming back from a Menangle campaign, so she should be rock hard fit. Um yeah, I've met, gone with her. Good stuff. Fiamma, race one, number four. Sam, pressure on yourself, pressure on Kelvin, or pressure on someone else? Um, yeah, I'm still in two minds. I'd nearly go mercenary place, but um, no, nah, I'm probably going to go sequence. I'll go down sequence straight. Sequence straight out the win? Yeah. What, what about the multi, the uh, ultimate Vinny to win, mercenary to win, sequence to win multi? Um, well, that was thrown out the window last night when I had a show jumper going in the first corner. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, well, I'm going to double up here on sequence. Found it a tricky night of racing, but my best bet as well, race six, number five, sequence. So we're um, we're in a grand there, Sam. First time probably in our lives. And that is a bit Maybe of a worry. Yeah, it is a bit of a worry for me, to be fair. Uh Really appreciate everyone jumping on. Thanks ever. Sorry to um, disrupt your day a bit, but I really appreciate you jumping on. Oh, that's okay. You didn't disrupt it too much. <laughs> nah, well played. And uh, Kez, really appreciative of you jumping on. I think a night at the movies might be in store. Am I right? Well, that was the plan, but I think the day's got away on me and I've got too many things to do now. <laughs> so uh, Netflix and Netflix and chill might be? Yeah, could be. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And uh, Sam, thanks for joining us. You better get uh, that horse up to Ballarat for race one. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be trying my best. <laughs>